guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl made below back again with another video. If today is your first time here, hello, can you subscribe? It's free, okay? Subscribe. So in today's video, we are all talking about about things I wish I knew in my 20s. Talk to me all this. If I wish I knew this thing, come on now. I'm at the top notch. So learning and I've learned a lot. I'm going to tell you guys what I've learned and we all have to learn together, okay? So number one is always drink a lot of water, okay? Drink a lot of water. See you guys, you have to hydrate your system every time, every day. Don't be there. Me for instance, first, I'll be there and think if I'm thirsty, that's where I'll go and find some water in me. But now, I like this and it's always helping me. It has really boosted my immune system. Why not drink water? Water is not expensive, okay? So why not drink water? Drink a lot of water. Early in the morning, first thing you have to do is drink water. So drink a lot of water to hydrate yourself, to boost your immune system, and also to help you, okay? Yeah. So number two is, why are you staying home and you're not going out? Yeah, you, 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 you don't ask them. Why are you not going out and you're always inside? Why? What are you doing there? This 2023, guys. We don't want negative price, okay? Always go outside. Go on a solid date. Go outside. Go and have fun. Go and meet new people. The person that you are, you, you are thinking about and you are inside thinking about, that person don't care about you, who says. That person don't care about you. So go out and meet that important person who is coming to your life to change you, okay? Who is coming to change you and you are there inside feeling slow and uh, thinking about necessary things? Sister, go out and have fun. Go out, meet new friends, meet new family. Who even appreciates you, okay? Thank you. So number, number three I'm having on this list is if in case you're having any toxic family, please cut them off. Cut toxic family off, okay? Cut them off. We are family members who will be calling you to who allow you to even explore. They will always ask necessary, like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? They will always drain you. So it's cut them off. It's 2023, okay? Cut them off. If you're having a toxic family who are always calling you for something that you won't get for them, but they will always call you to. Even if they are your parents, sis, I'm telling you to cut them off. They can kill you. I know a friend of mine who their parents are always asking her for money for everything like they're always calling this girl and this girl is always under pressure she'll be calling me may my mom says this my dad said i'm like sis if you are not blocking these people they are not going to stop calling you since they're not going to stop calling you at least if you get something you can dash it out to them but if you don't have don't let them pressure you okay that's what i'm saying block any toxic family from your life it's 23 guys we have to play to the theory, no negative vibes, no negative vibes. We have to block them. Not everybody is your friend. Not everybody is your friend. Feel free to go out with anybody, feel free to talk to anybody, feel free to laugh, like chill with anybody, but they are not your friends or best friend. Never choose a best friend. Okay, some people are having a real friend. That one is cool. You can go ahead and get someone who is very real and can be a sister, like a sister, like a friend. Okay, to you. You don't know what's in anybody's head. I can't even come into your head and cut your head and see what's in your mind about me. I don't know. So you have to be free with anybody, but make sure you won't keep anybody as your best friend. Share anything with a person, do this and that. We have very, very real girls, real kids out there. You can go ahead and choose them to be your best friend. But what advice I'll give to you is don't let anybody come across your lane and be your best friend, okay? Make sure you know the person well before you accept the person into your life, okay? Okay, so the next one I'm also going to share with you guys. Don't post anybody on your social media. Be your fiancé, be your boyfriend. Don't post anybody on your social media, okay? Don't post anybody. It's 2023, guys. Don't post anybody on your social media. We are not so at 2016 or 2015 whereby you were posting that boyfriend who is even not in your, in your, <laughs> who is even not in your life again. Sis, is that guy in your life again? The guy is not even in your life again. You have posted the guy and everybody knows that this guy is your best real G. And now you guys are no more there. So what are you telling out there? What are you telling people? You went back to delete that guy's picture from your Instagram, from your um, Facebook. But I just told in our head, in our mind, we know that you posted this guy you know everybody know we know you can't listen from our mind we know that you posted this guy being a boyfriend or a girlfriend please never ever try this don't post any boy on your whatsapp status don't post any girlfriend on your whatsapp status please it's 2023 why is up okay why is up you're posting the person for the person to know you love him or her or what i don't know i don't know i don't know only the person is married to you that's where you can prefer to post the person. That's why that one I don't have any problem. But be a fancy boyfriend, dev and dev, sugar daddy, one one one. Please don't post anybody on your social media. Please, we are tired of it. We are tired of you posting anybody. We are tired. Okay. Okay. The next one also going to share with you guys now is start buying skincare products. Start buying 
expensive skin care products because for, for now your skin is very smooth and fresh and so we are not thinking about the future but i'm also thinking about future that the future whereby your, your skin is shrinking but if this time around you're using quality the quality over quantity choose quality products for your skin okay go in for a best skincare product that would tone your skin make you always look young okay and also start buying anti-aging products okay you can take that 30 days anti-aging well woman platinum any else one here yeah here is it yeah it's a 30 days it's a 30 days supplement and it talk about the aging skin your hair nails so at least try to get one for yourself it's gonna help you okay it's going to help at least get one skin supplement or any anti-aging supplement okay for yourself at least get one and get the affordable in case you can't afford the expensive ones you can have any affordable ones to use okay yeah the next thing i'm gonna share with you guys is also don't disappoint some disappointment can also be a blessing so think about that remember a day a friend of mine called he was a man so when he called i was thinking about what we always think about if anybody invites you somewhere or anything i was thinking about why we always think so i don't need to go one will call me for a date or anything i will disappoint them i will just let you disappoint so one day i was staying there and i'm like oh i'm not doing anything in the house and i'll be called to go from home i'll even put on something and go i don't know what to come in so don't put on so at the end some bless some disappointment can also be a blessing so that day when a man called, I didn't want her to go, but I was I was not doing anything with so I was like, okay, let me go and see what's all. What he was because I've or, now I've already discussed something with him already, but he was doing so that day was my blessing. That day was a blessing into my life. Story time coming up, guys. So you stay tuned and get all the gist, okay? Story time coming up. So that day was my blessing. So don't stay home and be thinking about necessary things and getting disappointments and other things. Don't disappoint anybody. In your 20s and you're disappointing. What about your things? So don't disappoint at all, okay? And I can share with you guys also. So eat a little before you go out, okay? Don't go out. That's where you're going to eat all your food. Please stop that. Stop that. Don't go out and eat everything. At least have something small in your stomach so that if you go, you are not going to eat everything there for everybody to come and look at you, okay? And one thing I also tell you guys is stop taking in alcohol. Stop taking much alcohol into your system. You will be the only person going out to take much of alcohol a day. You want everybody to know that you can drink alcohol. What is that? It means what? You can drink alcohol. So what? What can we do to you? So what? This achievement or what? Some girls can go out to a club or any outing. They can drink alcohol to some certain extent. Why? Stop taking in alcohol, okay? Stop taking in alcohol. This time you are not going to see anything, but in your fifties, in your sixties, that's where you're going to. Because if you are taking the alcohol now, you're not going to stop now. You're not going to stop the alcohol now. So why are you keeping in, always taking in alcohol into your system? I don't know. Occasionally, everybody is taking in. At least you can sip wine, be you can do something small, but not every day. Then we have some people every day, every time they're taking alcohol. In your twenties, you're taking in alcohol, much alcohol like that. Why? Why are you deceiving yourself? In your early twenties, why are you taking alcohol? So it's coming explain to me. Why? Explain to me. Why are you taking much alcohol? Okay? Some people can go out and take all the alcohol in the club for people to know that they are well. They can take in alcohol. What is that? It's 2023, guys. Stop all these things. Huh? It's 2023. Stop all these things. What I'm gonna tell you is stop jumping from one man to another. They are just wasting your time. They don't, they don't have anything to help you. They don't have anything to give you out. Okay? They, they don't have anything to support you. So stop jumping from one man to another in your 26. Stop jumping from one month to another. Choose your career first. Work hard for it. God will provide that responsible man that you need. So choose your career. If you are there, you're watching some programs, they mention top top entrepreneurship, top top girls, top top ladies who have really worked hard for it. When they are mentioning you admire them, be like, wow, if they were to choose this man jumping from one month to what would the career be between course? You have to choose their career and focus on that career. But if you want to choose a career and also jumping from one month to another, they will bring you headache and they're also going to destroy your life. They don't have any to help you put that one in your mind they don't have anything to help you with okay choose your career work out for it be consistent and god will provide a responsible man for you i see i come to the end of today's video part two coming up i'll catch you guys out thank you for watching bye bye